The preseason has finally arrived and Oceana actually got it one day early. So I've had a day advantage of kind of testing around, theory crafting some builds for mid laners for the room pages, just kind of testing out what, what does and what doesn't work right now. Um, so today, today I'm just going to be giving you my general guide of some of the mid laners. It's not going to be every single mid, but just the ones I play mostly. Um, and in all honesty, I think in the next two weeks or so, some of them may change around a little bit. But I think in general, it's going to be spot on. It's going to help guide um, a lot of you mid laners that kind of don't know what the hell to do. Because I know when I first started playing yesterday, I didn't really know what was going on. But now I've grasped a little bit of what's going to be the best room pages to run on some mid laners. So without further ado, let's get straight into the guide. So kicking it off, this is a mobile burst page. This page is perfect for things such as LeBlanc, Echo, Ari, um, Fizz, I believe. Anything with a dash, and that's going to benefit from Electrocute. So pretty much Electrocute is the old Thunderlords um, with more damage early on. It is a little bit harder to proc. It's not going to be one-to-one -one ratio of champions that went Thunderlords in the old season. is definitely going to be going in the preseason. I don't think so. I think there's going to be some changes. But in general, Electrocute offers a much more uh, damage early on. And if you're looking for kills early with mobility, I definitely think this is the page for you. Okay, so next up is Control Mages. Now, I think this page is going to work great for things like Syndra, like Orianna. You still go that Electrocute, but you have that cheap shot. Um, you're going to get true damage on impaired enemies. And then in the Sorcery Tree, you're getting Mana Flow Band. I think that you definitely need Mana Flow Band um, on these Control Mages. You don't, have much, you don't have the Meditation anymore. You need some Mana back. And then that Transcendence, that 10% CDR at level 10. Um, you didn't see... Pretty much every single control mage on the old season was going that 10% scaling CDR, which you got at level 18. So, I mean, this you get this earlier. It's a little bit less because you don't get it to level 10, but I think this is definitely the way to go for control mages. Next up is Twisted Fate, and I think that Predator is going to be the go-to on these heavy CC engages, like Twisted Fate, like Malzahar. Predator is great. It's, a, it's insane how much movement speed you get. I think it's a 20-second movement speed bonus, and this can get you from mid lane to bot lane. Um, the whole way. The whole way you got that movement speed bonus. Um, other than that, you've got the Celerity, which is going to give you more movement speed. Water walking, it's it's really movement speed based. And using that Predator to hard engage or even just get flashes in the mid to late game, it's it's absolutely perfect for Twisted Fate. This is the Zed Standard Tree. You're going to get Electrocute for early damage. Sudden Impact, of course. As soon as you use W, you're getting that uh, Lethality. Other than that, you're getting into the Precision Tree for some more damage on low health and restoring if you get those kills. Now, one thing with this season, I definitely think you'll see um, specific rune pages towards matchups. Here's an example. This is a Zed versus AP. You grab that nullifying orb. It's it's actually pretty much like a weaker hex drinker early on. I think this is going to work great. Um, it's a heavy mage burst that's going to be trying to poke you out early on in the Zed landing phase, such as the maybe the Syndra, maybe the Orianna that's looking to poke you out, and then just grab on that scorch for that little bit of extra kill pressure in lane. Here's Tali. This is my go-to. I think Electrocute's going to be the go-to. I don't think you're going to be looking for Phase Rush. I think a damage from Electrocute. I like to go Thunderlords myself. But then you definitely go into the Sorcery Tree and get that movement speed, especially Water Walking. You get 25 more uh, movement speed in the river, which is insane for roams, guys. Next up is Cassiopeia. I think grab that Phase Rush. It's going to help you get some movement speed early on into the mid to late game. It is a weaker Storm Raiders. Um, Electrocute may end up coming up Trump, but I definitely think Phase Rush has been working for me. Um, the actual interesting thing is go into the inspiration tree, grab that approach velocity. This helps out. If you if you put your W down, you um, run towards your enemies extremely quickly. Even if you get a Rylize, this works as well, guys. And then Futures Market. I actually really like the Futures Market um, on things such as Cassio. I like it on Victor as well. You can get these early bases off a of big power spike, such as the tier, such as the Rod of the Ages, that help you scale into the late game much, much easier. All right, so heading into the Soul page, you're going to get Phase Rush once again. But you may notice down the bottom that you're getting Celerity and Water Walking, which is going to help you with your roams incredibly. I cannot um, emphasize how quick you are right now with these uh, runes for these roamers. It's perfect. And you've got the Approach Velocity and Biscuit Delivery. Now, a Biscuit Delivery is an interesting one. I think it may be, it perhaps may be the go-to for mid laners. I can't really tell yet, but it's insane to get these Biscuits. It heals up some of the mana for your roams. Say level 4, you get the Biscuit. Boom, you pop that, you have the mana to get the roam off bot lane. Jumping into Malzahar, this is once again pretty much the same as the Twisted Fate page, but a little bit of changes. Predator is insane for Malzahar. Pop that Predator and you will burn every single... Now heading into the Malzahar page, go that Predator. I cannot emphasize how good Predator is for these hard engage mages. 
such as the Malzahar. You pop this and you just run down. It's a 20 second ghost, guys. It is insane. You pop that and you will chase down any enemy and they'll force a flash. Or Cassidy was a tricky one. I wasn't really sure what to put for this. I tried out some Arcane Comet, which felt nice with the Q pokes. It almost comes out every single time you queues up. I think there's about 1.5 seconds you have to wait. And then you can queue again for another Arcane Comet. I definitely think this may be the go-to. I don't see any other keystones that will work better. Another Predator user, I believe, is going to be Vladimir. I can see Vladimir using this extremely well to get flanks, to get um, good positioning in teamfights, rather than having just flash in. Now I think you can pop that Predator and you get a really nice position in a teamfight. Another page I definitely think will work for Vladimir is an Electrocute page. Now these are for those Vladimirs, you know, that are going that full AP. They're getting that death cap, maybe second, third or fourth item, and just going for them pops on the enemy early on. I think grab that sorcery for the second, um, and the scorch is going to help you out in landing phase. It may be, it may make up for missing out on that death fire touch. For heading into Victor, I think the go-to will be Electrocute. Um, I think it's pretty easy to proc for Victor. The one interesting thing is going to Inspiration and getting that Futures Market. Now this Futures Market is going to help out so much. It's going to mean you can reliably get that upgraded hex core early on instead of having to fork out that 1250. The Azir page with Electrocute, you proc it with three autos from your soldiers. It's pretty simple, it's like Thunderlords. I definitely think it's the go-to for Azir. I tried out some of the precision pages, but it didn't feel as good. Moving on to Talon, move into Domination with Electrocute. Definitely get Sudden Impact. Every moving on to Diana, I think that definitely going for the Sorcery and the Phase Rush. Now, Phase Rush is going to work perfectly because Diana is melee, which means you do get that 75% slow reduction after you proc it. So I think it's going to work for Diana, getting in, getting out. Um, other than that, grab that Domination for the Sudden Impact, some Magic Pen. Ravenous Hunter, you heal a bit from your spells. I think it's going to work for Diana. Heading into Corky, this was a hard one. I'm really not too sure where I'm at with Corky. Um, I think Precision Tree is going to work best because you get that extra attack speed, but... For the Keystone, I'm not really too sure. Fleet Footwork is the closest there is to Warlords. Um, and then for your secondary path, grab Domination and get Sudden Impact. So every single time you use that W, you get some Magic Penetration, which is great. Now lastly guys, I think Yasuo, he's going to benefit from Press the Attack the most. I think this is going to be the best Rune Page. Sudden Impact every single time you use your Dash. Um, and then you go onto the enemy, get some Lethality, which is going to work out. I think this will be the go-to for Yasuo, no doubt. So that's it for my early Rune Page guide in the preseason. I definitely think that some of these room pages are going to be switched around a bit, tinkered around a little bit within the next couple of weeks, but I think it's going to be a good overall general guide to people looking to play in the next couple of days and just having no idea what to do.